What's going on guys? Modern Day Muscle back at you with another video. In this video, I got another mod going on. video as you can see right here based off the thumbnail I'm pretty sure that I'll create um we are installing brake pads and rotors at none other than a garage driven garage I went with the power stop setup the Z26 ceramic carbon fiber yeah carbon fiber ceramic bakes low dust um so the reason why I went with this is because one this is a cheaper option I think this is the better option actually yeah, it, it, I think it's definitely cheaper than the Brembo's, but um, it, I believe it's the better option just to, you know, avoid the brake test completely. I mean, you won't see as much brake test as you would on the six pistons, because as you know, in my car, I have the four piston brakes. But yeah, man, um, Paul recommended me to this. He's installed this on a couple other friends' cars around, around the way over here. And uh, the biggest thing that I like about you know what's gonna be put on my car is these uh these rotors man because they're not just slotted but they're drilled that's gonna look so sick on my car yeah i can't wait man i can't wait but i need to get these in the trunk so let's try something out here whoa Where'd they go, guys? Hmm. Oh, yeah. And that's through the power of editing and all that magic stuff that happens behind the scenes. But I just want to take time to, um, to just shout out a couple of things. But um, yeah, man, I'm on another channel called Free Smoke. Make sure you go and subscribe to that channel as well. The link will be in the description. And also too, make sure you subscribe to, well not subscribe, but follow on Instagram, free underscore smoke underscore official. It'll be on the screen right now. It's on IG, make sure you go follow us, man. Keep up to date with everything that we're talking about. Um, everything cars, everything going on in the, in the car world. We're doing it for the culture, you know what I mean? So we're doing all that, but right now it's packed up. I'm gonna go get some shut eye and I'll catch you guys in the morning. What's going on guys? It's the next day. I'm already at Paul's house, garage driven. We are jacking the car up. As you can see, parts are still in there. But uh, yeah, man, we're uh, just getting some work done right now. I'm super freaking tired. I had to drink a Red Bull. Paul's tired, but hey man, we're gonna get this done. Also got some uh, I guess new lug nuts, but there's nothing special about them. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be taking off these current lug nuts that I have now, because um, I think the key is wearing, so I'm gonna go switch to some different lug nut. Car's already jacked up. I think Paul went inside to go get a hoodie, because it's cold as F outside. Um, but yeah, man, we up early in the morning, man, 9 a.m. Woke up at seven o'clock to, uh, yeah, I woke up at 7 o'clock to leave the house by 7.45, be on the road by 8, and made it over here by 9, man, right on the dot, man. Well, 8.59, but still, right on the dot, man. So, just got to get this work done, and then we're going to go on about our business. We got the man, the myth, the legend. Back at it again. What are you talking about, bro? You know what I'm saying? I turned the camera because I can't get Paul's work shirt on camera. And he wants to get up. He wants to get up all prematurely, so I have to move the camera out of the way like, ugh. Like that, the minute it's a, a damn, man. Some people know where I work at, but I'm just trying to keep it. No, I get it. Shit, sure. nobody knows where I work at. I mean, I mean, y'all know where I work at, but nobody that watches me knows where I work at like that. <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta keep that stuff private, man. He's digging through the cereal bowl of tools, guys. Yep. I mean, I got the right socket right now, but I just want to, I'm looking for a short one. Yeah. Just, that's what I want to do. Yeah, make my life more 
easier. Run. It looks pretty dope, actually. Yeah. With the, the, the drilled holes in it. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's different to look at, but yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering how it's gonna look with the wheel on there. Cause um, if you guys don't know, um, actually you guys don't know, cause I, I think I pointed it out maybe one video, but I glazed over it real quickly. I have uh, the hub right here on my old rotors were painted black. Actually, let me just go and show it you guys. So this is my old rotor here. And as you can see, it's painted black. I got that done. And I just realized that on the new one, they're not painted black. So I'm wondering if it's gonna look crazy or not. I don't think it should look that bad. Nah, it's gonna actually look clean because it's all like brand new right now. Yeah, yeah. It's just the fact that eventually it's gonna stop like, like probably rust or something. Well, but then again, your car doesn't stay outside like it used to. I was about to say that was when I was apartment apartment pimping. <laughs> yeah, where uh, where uh, yeah, this car was definitely an outside queen all the time. It was an outside home. Yeah. This is I was about to say a straight cat, but you know it's not a Hellcat, so. Oh, speaking of that, <laughs> speaking of that, bro, I was coming. Yo, why I seen a state trooper, lights flashing, everything, whizzed past me going the other direction. Guess what it was? It was a Hellcat, bro, child. Oh, I was like, oh. See? <laughs> Crazy, right? They're not playing. What's that, Lou? Ubercation? Yes, sir. So, well, I know that's where the rods go in the brake caliber, but I would say on those pads, so what, it doesn't like seize? This doesn't make it not squeak, which I, don't, I still never get the concept of like creasing the back of the pad. Mm -hmm. This is where your squeak would come from. It's where, I don't know. I thought it would come from the pad, uh, okay. <laughs> I thought it would come from like either the, the pad hitting the rotor or the pad itself, you know what I mean? That's weird. It stops like, oh, well, this was helping like spring squeaking. Interesting. And if you don't do this and you just put them in. It'll oh, squeak. Yeah, which is weird. Which, speaking of squeaking, Brembo squeak all the time. Especially after it rains and your car's been sitting out in the rain. <laughs> all right. So all you do is slide the pads back in. that fresh pad my other pads were skinny <laughs> see I had these pads on for what like three years it's my first uh ro oop, oop, and brake pad change all right guys definitely got the brakes and rotors on once again power stop C's, C26 or C76 I'll put it up on the screen I don't remember it's on the box somewhere but yeah man it look dope, man. I like it. What you guys think? But yeah, guys. Um, so you know, with new brakes and rotors, as you may know, there's a brake impairment. So I need to do a couple of accelerations and stops before I'm actually all the way put together. So me and Garage Driven, we're gonna go for a little drive real quick to, to break that in, and then. I'll let you guys know how I felt afterwards. Yo guys, it's been a day or so. I can't remember all the days, just mixed together. But we are back in my garage. Yes, the uh, brake pads and rotors are installed. Let me show you guys real quick. Brake pads and rotors. Yeah, man, the brake pads and rotors are installed. The drilled and slotted rotors look dope. Honestly. Like I said, man, the car drives way better. I couldn't really uh, do like a, um, you know, like a drive reaction stuff like that because I forgot a piece to my little gimbal that holds my phone. But I'm giving you guys a little final look right here, man. Ooh, man, you ever look at your car and you just be like, damn. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. My name is Jordan, this is Modern Day Muscle. Shout out to all you guys commenting. Shout out to all the new subscribers coming from Free Smoke and elsewhere. Hope to see you guys on the next video.